Well, just heading out to spray the last field of chemfallow. It's looking plenty green. This is the oat field, seeded uh, in the last week of May. It's coming up really nice. Pretty even emergence. There's a few black patches behind me there. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I gotta get out here to open the gate. Yeah, I need to clean my windows, but... Uh, this is the oat field that got pretty close to 100% hail last September. It wasn't even worth combining, so uh, I cut it and a neighbor bailed it. So there's plenty of oats on the ground, and I'm guessing most of that green stuff we're seeing there now is volunteer oats coming up. So this will kill that pretty easy. With a mix of Roundup 2,4-D. And I have to watch these low spots because they're covered in straw and I can't tell if there's mud or water or what inside them. Anyway, I better concentrate on not hitting the trees here. Keep both hands on the wheel and my eyes on uh, what I'm doing. There's a dead tree. Oh, very good. Oh, that was soft. Oh, badger hole. Nice thing about working late in the day when the sun is low, you can see every nozzle see if it's putting out a good spray and I'm seeing one that's not okay I guess I better stop and try and clear that I'm using the free form format on the uh, Trimble Easy Guide. That's, what I, that's actually the only one I've ever used. With all our winding lines and uh, bushes and sloughs to go around here, it's uh, fairly uh, appropriate, I think. Some parts of the field are not bad for weeds, and some are like a green pasture. We actually had uh, I'm estimating about three quarter inch of rain yesterday morning, which helped quite a bit. The surface was extremely dry here before the rain and the tank wheels were kicking up so much dust that I think it was probably wasting some of the herbicide. So that helped. This field was so wet last fall that uh, I was uh, literally getting stuck with the swather. I had to get pulled out once and several other times I was able to dig myself out. Anyway, I'll keep at her here till uh, either I finish the field or I can't see anymore. This was that huge area of bulrushes that I worked down in, uh, I don't know, was it two, three years ago? I've got some video of it anyway. And, oh, there's some of the ruts I made with the swather last year. Uh, I had it worked down really nice. I had seeded last spring, but by the time it came to spray for weeds, it was getting so wet again that I couldn't even spray all of it. I was leaving ruts with this tractor. I'm not sure if I even had the duals on last year, because last spring started out really, really dry. And by the time spraying came along, I, uh, I seem to recall making a video called uh, Spraying in the Mud. 
which I literally was doing. This appears to have dried up pretty well. Around the edges, anyway. Obviously, I'm not... Oh, there's some ruts. And I'm not going to venture too far in there. I'll just leave some of that for the cattle, and probably later on, as we get into the summer, I will move in there with some uh, cultivator spikes and see what I can do. Sometimes it's kind of a waste of time working these low spots, putting a lot of effort into it, and then they're either too wet to seed next year or else you do seed them and then they're too wet to harvest anything out of them. But I guess nothing ventured, nothing gained. Anyway, it's not a huge acreage. It grows a nice crop when you can plant it, but it's a pretty rare dry year and the whole thing is dry enough to work. I'm still getting this uh, intermittent loss of satellite for some reason. They're telling me the GPS quality has degraded for about a half a minute and then it comes back. GPS is now ready for use. I have no idea what's going on. The little satellite icon turns yellow, of course. Uh, we're going to have to miss some of this. Still have my differential locked up. There we go. Quality's degraded again. Now it's ready for use. It's almost like it's got a poor connection somewhere. It's losing contact. Really, there's no fancy ending to this one. I did finish the field uh, before sundown and had just enough herbicide to cover the entire field. So, all is good. Chem fellow's done. Now let's have a look at the canola. So, hope you enjoyed the video. 